Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another video from me, Discarender. And uh, this is actually something I've been quite exciting about. Uh, as most of you guys know, previous week I posted that there's going to be a big tier change in Smogon, and I wanted to speculate what that would happen. Now, the thing is, uh, the Pokemon that are going to be judged now without their Mega Stone, what tier that would have been without their Mega Form, without those extra 100 base power. And, um, yeah, basically... We already know that most of the Auras um, Mega Pokemons were have a tier before them, for before ours, obviously, um, and that's why most of them landed. But what we don't know is, of course, the X and Y Megas who got, of course, never, never a chance to actually match up with uh, the new uh, tiers. So um, they took the easy approach here, I do believe, but at the same time, they're gonna fall hard. Most of these guys, we're gonna take it f from the top and. Just keep going down, basically. So first Mon is uh, Manetric, who's going to be moved from OU to UU. Now, like I said, Manetric was in Generation 5, an Aureo Pokemon already, and it's not that good. It just isn't. So I think Manetric is going to fall to NU, but at the time being, I guess it's fair. Uh, Lupani uh, going to PU as it was back in X and Y. Nothing surprising about that. Altaria, the same treatment, uh, back to PU. Ampharos is to RU, so only lower one bit. I'm sure Ampharos will be in you as the time goes on, but RU is fair for the time being. Gardevoir, UU, that's gonna drop, that's gonna drop like a rock. Like I said previously, it was in NU in Regeneration 5, but uh, it got some major perks outside of that, so RU seems to be a very fair tier for it, but we'll see what happens. The thing that is the issue with Gardevoir is that it's a bit too slow for its own good, and it has too little bulk to keep up with the meta in UU, and it, I think it barely lives in RU, but obviously we'll find out that, find that out as the time goes on. Uh, Absol, to RU, I guess that's fair. There's only one little drop on it, it goes for every one of these, obviously, and I think it could be stay in RU, but it could also fall to uh, NU. Bennett to NU. Sounds fair. I think it's gonna be a PU eventually. It just... It doesn't really hold up. It still isn't really holding up. But, you know, that's still fair. Venusaur to UU. And I wonder if it will stay. Uh, very interesting mod indeed. But... Uh, yeah, I just don't see it. I just don't see it being able to survive in UU. RU seems much better. Uh, Agron being RU. I like that. I do. But um, much like Steelix, it might be a bit too slow for its own good, and it's very likely to get moved down. Um, obviously, we'll just have to find that out. Clearly, going from RU to PU as it was actually in uh, um, before X and Y. Steelix, same treatment, going back to NU, Blastoise, RU. Now, that's likely he'll stay there. It's a fantastic spinner. It really is. It's probably one very, very needed spinner. So, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Benefin, Sceptile, back to NU. Yes, obviously. Camera, PU, obviously. Dianchi, UU. E. I wonder. I really do. It could be saying UU, but... Uh, yeah. I just don't see it. I think Dianchi is um, a bit too fragile for its own good. Um, and it's a good... Fairymon, but um, the rock typing keeps it from being better, and the speed doesn't really help, and I'm sure it's gonna fall even further. Um, Aerodactyl, there are you. That's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be really cool. I I think Aerodactyl is a massive threat in RU. It's definitely gonna see that a lot, and it's needed. It's needed with the like of Tyrantrum. It's not a counter, but it can deal with a lot of mons in RU, so um, I love it. Uh, Minisham, back to RU. Nothing really there. Beedrill to PU, hey hey, finally. Uh, Sharpedo RU as it was before. Pinsir to NU as it was before. Charizard, UU, my god. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna say. Uh, Odino back to his previous um, tier to PU. And Metagross to UU, which of course is really cool. It's needed. I think Metagross makes a difference in the uh, UU. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that. So, yeah, that's basically all that happened. Like I said, that's, I don't really have a lot of thoughts. I think a lot of Pokemon that went from OU to UU are gonna fall further. So that goes for Manetric, that goes for Venusaur, that goes for Charizard, and um, one more. 
No, no, there were rows, sorry. Um, shards are definitely gonna plummet. Um, it was NU before. I'll definitely even see it in PU in the worst case scenario. It's a terrible typing. And uh, the mon itself isn't that bad, but it just can't keep up. It doesn't have the power to keep that up. And obviously, having Charizard in NU eventually will be awesome because I miss Moltres in RU and NU. So, uh, looking forward to that, though, Charizard being obviously worse. But still, I like that. And uh, Manetric, you gotta fall. You 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 can, you won't stay in UU. You definitely won't. Uh, anyway, I think that will do for the video. Um, leave your own thoughts, you know, about this. Did you think Smogum went with the easy approach here and just um, make it even up and just lowered everybody by one tier who hasn't a previous tier, of course, of B in the Auras, um, before Auras, of course. I think they were a bit too lazy. I think they should have gone about... Uh, what should have been restrictive before uh, X and Y, but at the same time, I can see why did did I have this approach, and um, we'll just have to find out as time goes on. Like I said, I think it's a bit too simple, but at the same time, I understand why they did it. So anyway, that'll be all for the video. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoy the new series because I sure as hell will. So without further ado, I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, guys, take care. Bye.